All rise. Mass County Circuit Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Gordon Webb presiding. Go ahead and be seated, please. Court will call. It will start by calling the uh, the case of uh, Baxter County Criminal Case CR 2014-271, State of Arkansas versus Robert Finch. Mr. Finch is for arraignment on charges of aggravated residential burglary, uh, class uh, Y felony, kidnapping. Class Y felony, uh, battery in the second degree, class D felony, terroristic threatening, class D felony, and fleeing, class D felony. Your Honor, to all of those charges, I believe the court's appointed the Public Defender's Office to represent Mr. Finch. We would enter a plea of not guilty. Your Honor, he is incarcerated in Missouri. Um, Mr. Bayless and I are both working on this case. If uh, Obviously, we want to try to do something with this case today if we can, if we could recall the case later in the day. He only arrived here yesterday, Judge, so we've not really had a chance to, uh, to meet and talk with him that much at all. All right. Well, the court will, will uh, note his plea of not guilty. I'm going to set the matter down. It'll be on Judge, it's on Judge Putman's docket. Uh, the court will will note it that you know if if we don't resolve it today, the court's going to direct it. He'll reappear on the fourth of December. 2014-272. State of Arkansas versus Bernard uh, Deathridge. On those charges, how does he now plead? Not guilty, Your Honor. Um, not guilty at this time, Your Honor. Your Honor, he is another uh, Missouri inmate. Uh, I believe that we'll be able to take care of his case today. Um, Mr. Kincaid has made an offer, which I'll discuss with Mr. Dethridge. Well, that, that'll be fine. I put him in the pile to be recalled. However, the court, if, he, if it's not resolved today, the court, this case is on this court's docket. It'll be set for trial Tuesday, May 26th uh, by a written scheduling order. I've got a, we'll have a pretrial of March 12th. I don't know if he's filed an interstate agreement on the containers. He's incarcerated in Missouri. We really need to find a date to get rid of him, either December or January, just to be sure we stay within that, that window under the interstate agreement. What, what do you mean? We got him down here and yeah, he, he filed an interstate agreement on the detainers. He's incarcerated in Missouri, and we got him down here to deal with uh, this case. Okay, we got about a six-month window. Yeah. Okay. And you, that might be within the six months, but my math, like, you know. Yeah, no, it isn't. Um, let's put him. Let's. Uh, do we have a trial setting in March? I'm setting uh, the same as Marion County. I'm setting him uh, for a scheduling order for for uh, trial March 19th and 20th. Uh, I'll set his pre-trial. Judge, that'll be unnecessary. We think we reached the plea agreement. Since this is the D felony, right. uh, our sent maximum sentence would our recommended recommended sentence would exceed his sentence in Missouri, so we'll give him concurrent time when he go back to Missouri today. All right. well, have I'll, to I'll put him in the. I'm, I'm going to still set him for for that uh, March 19th and 20th. There'll be a pretrial and reappearance deadline if if they become necessary. But at this point, that's all we're going to do. We'll put it in the recall. Sorry.